everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I apologize for that. I had some personal things going on. I had surgery, oh, probably about two, two and a half weeks uh, from when you're seeing this video. So everything leading up to the surgery, the surgery, the recovery, it kind of kept me out of the game for a while. But I'm back, ready to shoot some more videos for you. But I'm back, I'm ready to shoot some more videos for you. And I think I'm going to go back to my original posting schedule of doing one a week on Friday. Seems like you guys enjoy that more. I get more engagement and activity when I do it weekly. So we're going to go switch back to that weekly uploading schedule um, instead of the once every other week upload schedule. But for today's video, we're going to talk about the Shimano SLX MGL. And is it a really good reel? Let's find out. So I'm sure by now everybody knows about the SLX and all the different types of models the SLX comes in, whether it's the basic one, the XT, the DC, or the MGL that I have in front of me. Um, I'll be honest, I've never fished any of the SLX line. I have very limited Shimano knowledge. Um, the only other Shimano reels that I have is the Corrado G and a Stratic CI4+. Plus. I will say though, one of my all-time favorite reels were the old Sitka E's. I absolutely loved those reels. Um, if I can find some more on the used market, I'll probably buy more. I also wanted to do this review because it seems like when I went online and did a lot of research, the only reviews I've seen on YouTube for these reels are people that are brand loyal to Shimano. Not necessarily sponsored by them, but all they use is Shimano. So you're going to get the good, the good, and the best when it comes to those types of videos. I'm not brand loyalist to anybody, but let's go ahead and we're going to dive into the Shimano SLX MGL, why I got it, what I'm going to use it for, and do I think it's a good reel. All right, the specific model of the SLX MGL I got is right-handed and it's 6.3 to 1. So the reason I went with a 6.3 to 1 is because I'm actually going to use this as a crankbait reel. I know a lot of people you hear talk about these don't use them for those reaction baits or those moving baits or the baits that you need a long cast. The reason I'm using this as a crankbait reel is because it can hold 105 yards of 10 pound test. And when I fish uh, crankbaits, all of my crankbaits are um, 10 pound fluorocarbon. So if I can get about 100 to 105 yards on here, that's all I need. I change my line out uh, twice a year. So only having to put 105 yards on here saves me money and it saves me time because I don't have to use so much line. We'll see how it does this year because this will be the first time I use it for cranking. The other reason I went with this as a cranking reel is because one, you get the Hagane uh, frame on here and it's all metal. Um, you also get the Infinity braking system. And with the Infinity braking system, I like that, especially for um, crankbait fishing because I do a lot of offshore fishing because you never know when the wind's gonna change directions whether the wind's going to pick up or die down. So this will allow me to be able to make those quick adjustments on the fly. And I don't have to always get into the side plate and mess with the uh, centrifugal brakes. I have the dial brakes that'll help me get that in there for me. So I think, personally, I think fishing um, offshore, those 15 to 25 feet of water that I'm, I plan on using this for, um, that's going to help me especially when the um, wind picks up or dies down when I'm on Erie because I do a lot of fishing on Erie. And I only need about 40, 45 yards per cast. So 105 yards is plenty, again, for this. Um, for those that don't know what the MGL spool is, or for those that don't know what the SLX MGL is, it's the special spool that's on the reel. You can also get this on the Corrado, the Cronark, I believe you can get them on the higher ups too. I, the Bantam does. I believe the Elder Barons do. I don't know off the top of my head though because I'm not too familiar with Shimano. Um, this specific MGL spool is their 70 size. So what that means is the shoes. So what that means is the spool is actually lighter and it's thicker, meaning that it's a lot more shallow than your typical spools. Most of your spools are but usually a 150 or maybe a 100. Um, I think it's Abu Garcia's winch that has a 200 size spool on there. Just something so you can add more line to it. I like this one because, again, fishing on Erie, fishing offshore, you never know what that wind's going to do. So being able to have the light line and a lighter spool that'll spin up um, 
easier when we throw it that it'll allow me to cast in the wind better. All right, so let's go over the specs of this reel. So again, right-handed, six three to one gear ratio. It can hold 105 yards of 10 pound test. It can hold 85 yards of 12 pound test and 70 yards of 14 pound test. And that's your mono or your fluorocarbon. When you look at braid, on braid and line, it can hold 115 yards of 20 pound test. Or I'm sorry, 20 pound braid. Um, 105 yards of 30 pound braid or 80 yards of 40 pound braid. So I know a lot of people um, like to use these for light baits or also for um, flipping and pitching because it doesn't need a lot of um, line on there. To me, I flip and pitch with about 50 to 65 pound braid. So I'm only getting maybe 50 yards on there. I personally don't like that. Although when I'm flipping, it's only maybe five or 10 yards if that. It's a lot of uh, closer, uh, close quarter combat type fishing. But I like to have just a little bit more spool. Uh, I would like to have just a little bit more line on my spools for that. Just because you never know what you're going to get yourself into. Weight wise, this thing comes in at 7.1 ounces. So it's light. It's a lighter reel. 7.1 ounces. Has 12 pounds of max drag on there. Only thing that kind of uh, worries me about using this as a cranking is that drag. But I think 12 pounds is enough for me uh, to be able to wrestle the smallmouth in and the largemouth I catch um, over some of the Indiana lakes. But we'll see how it goes. This is going to be, like I said, this will be my first year using it for crankbait fishing. I don't see a lot of people talking about using these for crank fishing. So we'll see what how it happens. Now, my overall first impressions of this reel itself. You know, spinning the handle, engaging, disengaging, checking the brakes out. This is a really nice quality built reel probably the best reel i've ever held in this price point and for that reason i would not be afraid to buy the dc model of this or even uh just the regular xt model of this although you definitely want something that's got the infinity brake system i believe the xt does the basic slx does not it's just centrifugal so i wouldn't go lower than the xt but Pound for pound, bang for your buck, this is probably one of the best reels that I have held, I've handled. We'll see how the performance goes, but knowing how many people love Shimano and knowing how much I love the Shimano reels that I have, I don't have a problem or I don't have a worry that it's not going to perform well. Later on in the year, I'll do a follow-up review on this one, I promise, and we'll go over do I think it's a good cranking rod or a cranking reel, I should say. Um, would I change it? Do I still love it? Do I not like it? Do I use it for something else? We'll go over all of that in the later one. This was just a quick review of showing you a reel that I did just pick up, why, I'm, why I picked it up, how I'm going to use it, and kind of give you a little bit of overall first impressions. I'll also give you a little bit of unboxing just so that you kind of know what it comes with. So when you get your reel, it's going to come in bubble wrap, fully protected in your box, and then inside your box, you're going to get your schematics and your parts list and you'll also get your warranty and instruction manual how to set it up how to use it and all that stuff uh, you don't get any lube or anything like that just a uh, basic cardboard box there's no padding in there the bubble wrap is what protects the reel um, and honestly that's what I expect for a rod at this lower price point if it was say the Corrado MGL I would hope for a little bit of bottle of lube but we don't need it when um, at a price point this low I would rather than put all the money in the research and development of the reel itself and not the accessories it comes with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, are you a Shimano guy? Have you used the SLX MGL? Is it something that you like? Is it something that you don't like? Is there another reel that you like for crankbait fishing? Let me know below. I love to hear it. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.